Okay, so here's how you install a blade on this thing. All right. Make sure you have a paper blotter. It goes right on those hooks. The wheel slides up inside, up over the spindle. Blotter on the outside. Loose flange. Washer. Spindle nut. How tight, you wonder? When I tighten it, I'll bump the wrench with a hammer a couple times just to snug it up. Just tap it a couple times with the hammer? Yep. Doesn't need to be extremely tight. It'll tighten up when it starts up. Yep. We don't want any uh, impact wrenches on that, do we? No. No, no impact wrenches. Just Let's walk wrench. around here, just the front, just real quick. Let me see. Uh, here, got a lot of a lot of switches here. Machine control for light. This is to turn the pump on manually for wash down, clamp and unclamp for the vices. This machine set up so that. It'll only clamp when the doors are closed. Okay. Okay. These are your motion controls. Stop, stops motion up or down. Up to return to the up position. Down for feed, rapid for positioning. Spindle start and stop. Oscillation, so the blade oscillates forward and back. And your hydraulics control. And there's a speed control down there. This is your flow control to control your rate of descent for your for your feed through your part. So if I look inside of this thing here, there's your blade, there's your, your clamps, air clamps. So bring the hydraulics on. Bring it down. Flow control here. Controls how fast it feeds, or for positioning, and grab it down. Alright. Pretty up, good. Up, we'll take it all the way back to home position. Bring it down, wrap it all the way down. There's a limit switch, an electronic limit switch. When it hits that switch, it will automatically return to the up position.